Hello people from the internet and welcome to my online tutorial on today how to create Lockliffe logos. Those will be usable on every iPhone that has a fingerprint sensor and is jailbroken. In the end of this tutorial you will have a Lockliffe logo that shows up every time you unlock your iPhone. It will look a bit like this and have the Apple Pay animation on it. The original source image will look like this. I will explain in a moment how to create it. In order to create a logo that is optimized and works nicely for Lockliffe, I assume, or suggest you watch one of my already made tutorials on how to create optimized versions of your current logo so that when wanting to have this as a Lockliffe, you can turn it into this logo and then um, it looks better on the lock screen. You can of course also use a colored version of your logo. I will in this tutorial demonstrate the whole process on a white version. As I assume you have already downloaded GIMP which I presented in my optimizing logos tutorials. I guess you can just now follow on my tutorial where we will firstly s open our image with GIMP. Then create a new folder anywhere on your computer. I will just place it inside a newly created folder named Lockliffe and call that new folder, folder the name you want your logo to be called. In my case this is Nilstron and then dot .bundle. Having done this, you can start manipulating your image in GIMP. First off, we have to ensure that the canvas our image is in is square. So for this, go up to Image, Canvas Size, and now make it so that the width and the height of the image are equally sized. Enter, and then press Center so that the image is in the center of your canvas and now you have a square canvas with your image in the center. Now that the canvas is properly sized we have to adjust the image so that it fits into the Lockliffe boundaries. For this go again up to image and now scale image. The first scale we want is width of 135 pixels and as well a height of 135 pixels. Press scale and now you have a little bit tinier version of your logo. Now we export this image to the folder we just created. Go to file, export as, enter your bundle folder and name your image like this. Uppercase idle uppercase image at 3x.png. This logo was created for the iPhone 6 Plus which has the highest resolution so far and we will create further versions of our logo for the retina displays and the non-retina displays. Press on edit undo scale image and now again scale your image to 90 pixels by 90 pixels. Scale and this version of your image is exported as idle image at 2x.png because this is the double resolution of the non-retina display. Now again press edit undo scale image and again scale your image to this time 45 by 45 pixels. This version of your image will be exported as just idleimage.png, no suffix this time because this is for the non-retina devices. What you could do now is go into your folder, zip the bundle, uh, navigate to repo.nielstron.de press on submit your own 
log in or sign up. I am already signed up here. Choose Lockloff logo, fill out the form. For example, Nils from Lockloff version 1.0, blah, blah, blah. And upload your themes icons. And there you go, press and submit and your logo will be uploaded within an hour. Another way to place the images on your iPhone or iPod, specifically on yours, is to enter your iPhone raw file system. I usually use the iFunbox app, but my iPhone isn't jailbreaked anymore at the time, so I have to just theoretically explain it to you. There will be a folder on on the root folder, meaning slash, on, on top of all folders. There is a folder called library. When entering, there is another folder called application support. Enter this one, and there will be the folder lockliff, then themes. And in there, you place your whatever name you chose, dot bundle folder and usually your new logo will be shown when entering the settings screen. You can also try to respring and have a look if it's then shown, but your iPhone should now, your, your logo should now work. Congratulations! I hope you liked this tutorial and maybe consider watching my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.